take DC voltage source which is present in the specialized power system library let us take the value of this DC voltage source as 220 volts now take the MOSFET again which is present in the specialized power system library take diode rotate it by control and R key now take current measurement block take DC machine connect this current measurement block to A plus terminal and A minus of this DC machine to the battery source and copy this DC voltage source and connect it across these field terminals now if you will double click on it you will get here the mechanical input is torque so take a constant block let it change the value here as 20 and connect it to this TL terminal so here we are applying the mechanical torque of 20 Newton meter now take voltage measurement block connect it across A plus and A minus terminals of this DC machine take bus selector connect it to the measurement port of this DC machine open this bus selector remove these previous signals take these signals now we will require scope block so as to view the waveforms open this block go inside settings and change the number of input ports Connect the output terminals of this bus selector to the scope. And here, this voltage measurement output to the first terminal of the scope. Take power guy block. Here, for this MOSFET, at this gate terminal, we have to apply pulses. So, for that, take pulse generator block connect it to the gate terminal open this block so for this period we can write it in terms of switching frequency which is uh, 1 divided by switching frequency so I am considering here the random value 1 divided by 100 hertz and uh, let us consider the pulse weight to be 25 percentage Let us take the runtime as 5 seconds. Now save the file. And run the simulation. Open the scope block so as to view the waveforms. zoom for viewing the waveforms so here you can see different waveforms you can vary the pulse width 
and switching frequency and you can find the changes in this waveforms so let us consider the switching frequency as 500 hertz and pulse width to be 50 percentage give this name to the signal as armature terminal voltage now save the changes and run the simulation again open this scope block now zoom so here you can find the change in the waveform as we have changed the duty cycle or the pulse width thank you